Hello everyone. Today we will check how many pancakes can be made from one bag of flour. This bag contains exactly 50 kilograms of flour. The first thing that I did was beat seven and a half liters of egg yolks into a very dense state. For convenience, we will knead the dough in three containers at once. Each holds 60 liters. Therefore, we send the first bowl with yolks to the first container. The second one into the second. And the third into the third. The next ingredient is vanilla sugar. We need exactly two kilograms. We distribute it evenly across three containers. Now we move on to the milk. We have 42 liters here, so we open up the bottles. And we also pour them evenly into the containers. Now, with the help of a huge mixer, we need to thoroughly mix the yolks with the milk and vanilla sugar so that the mass becomes homogenous. Next in line, vegetable oil. Only nine liters. We open them up, and we pour one into each container. Now finally you will need a bag of flour. We open it up. We scorch the edges with a burner so that these polyethylene fibers do not get caught in our dough. Using a spatula, we transfer the flour into containers. To make the pancakes look lush, we use baking powder. We open it up. And add the same amount to each container. We also mix flour with the help of a huge mixer. We need to achieve a uniform consistency without any lumps. We have done all this with each container and now the dough is very thick. The last ingredient, egg whites, will help with this. We measure out 300 milliliters. This is a portion for the small mixer. We fill out the three more small mixers and pour twice as much egg whites into a large one. That's it, now we start them. And now we just wait. When the egg whites are whipped with froth, you will need sugar. We take a large measuring spoon and send it into the egg whites. After that, the speed of the mixer can be increased. Thanks to the sugar, the foam will become much denser. Now we add it to the remaining mixers. After 10 minutes, we get the perfect cream. It's time to turn off the mixers. and transfer the proteins into the dough. Two small portions in the first container. The second two small ones are in the second one. And the large portion for the third one. In 
And now, the most difficult thing is to carefully mix the air egg whites into the thick dough with the spatula. Whisk the second batch of egg whites. Here I decided to change tactics and pour the batch from all the mixers into one container. This way we will mix the dough less often and there will be much more air bubbles. We continue until we run out of all the egg whites. Finally, the dough is ready. We are left with 150 liters. We move the first container closer to the stove. Here we will cook pancakes in frying pans. First, sprinkle them with oil. And turn on the heat. We scoop up the dough and pour it into the frying pan. But here we have a problem. The pancake turns out to be really crooked. Therefore, we will use a special bottle. Pour the dough into it with a ladle. We wind a special spout on top. And now by simply pouring the dough into the center, the pancakes will turn out smooth on their own. After a couple of minutes, we turn them over. Due to the oil spray, the first pancakes are obtained with a spotted pattern. Later, this will not happen. When the pancake is cooked on the second side, remove it from the pan, but then put them on top of each other. That's it. Drag the second container with the dough to the right side of the kitchen. Here we will fry pancakes on a special pancake oven. We put it on about 200 degrees Celsius. Also sprinkle it with oil and pour out the dough. Three pancakes should fit here at once. Done. Well, the last thing we're going to fry the pancakes on will be this hefty roasting surface. I bought it specifically for this video, and it is very productive. Turn it on. Also sprinkle it with oil. And pour out some dough. It took as many as eight pancakes at a time. We turn them over. The pancakes were cooked twice as fast here. We also stacked them into a tower. and put it on the edge of the table. We have organized a whole conveyor belt and while three people will fry the pancakes, the fourth will fill the bottles with dough so that the work does not stop for one minute.
After 20 whole hours of frying, all the pancakes from one bag of flour are finally ready. In general, it took us two and a half days to prepare them all. They turned out to be very beautiful and almost all of the same size. Right now, in the comments, just try to guess how many pancakes we were left with. Let's see what they turned out to look like inside just by breaking one pancake in half. Wow, super lush and porous inside like a sponge. Perfect. And of course they eat pancakes with honey, so let's try that. It is very tasty. We plan to send these pancakes to people in need. Therefore, we recalculate the column with pancakes. And we put them into a container. We will fill up these containers and count all the pancakes at the same time. In total, 763 pancakes are made from one bag of flour. We cover up the containers with the lids and pop them in the trunk. Also, we're going to take this kind of honey and sticks with us. And disposable plates. That's it, let's go to the shelter for children and the elderly. There, we'll put the pancakes on plates. We put out the sticks of honey on the table and the children began to pour them out on their pancakes. Apparently it was really tasty for them. We also treated the senior citizens to some pancakes. And they liked them too. And now, if this video gets 200,000 likes, then I will try and find out how many pizzas you can make from one block of cheese. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a thing. Bye, everybody.